All right, y'all. Look who's back. He wanted to say thank you for all the prayers and well wishes. I got him a new little tie. It has lobsters on it. Can you show everyone your tie? Look at that. He's just as crazy as he was before the attack, like completely crazy. Um, but I wanted to say thank you so much. He's healed very nicely. He's out of the cone. Would you stop? What's this? Oh, what's that? Anyway, quick video today. Someone asked, what are my top saint brushes to use? Let's discuss real quick too what I use to wash them and anything else I think you might need to start with saints. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist and I worked in television and film. And now I work here helping women to navigate a maturing face. I'm also the creator of the Mature Makeup Masterclass. So if you do need help with an aging face, I teach over 20 videos on mature techniques ranging with all different types of products and budgets. Okay, I priced it especially low so everyone can afford it. I just paid $110 at Christmas for just three little master classes on three different looks. It was a look I was paying for. Um, I'm showing you how to do mature technique in 21 videos for $57. So it is a steal and I promise you, you will learn so much and so much will make sense. Okay. Today, um, is Saint Day. So if you are new here, every Wednesday night, I do a video on Saint and Demi. And every Saturday, I do videos on traditional makeup or my plastic surgery that's coming up. Uh, I'm going to make this brief today. This was a customer request. And um, I have four YouTubes to shoot all this week because I am going to be down convalescing for two weeks. My plastic surgery is on February 1st. I'm nervous, but I have a total peace about it. And I covet everybody's prayers. I know that it's elective surgery. I'm signing up to do this. No one's forcing me. And anything can go wrong at any time. So I just pray for skilled hands of the surgeon and quick healing for me and health for my family. So no one gets me sick while I'm all stitched up. That would be a nightmare. Um, Okay, so let's talk about the things that you really truly need to start with Saint, and mostly this is about brushes today, okay? So to me, my most important brush is the 3D brush. I love that it's this big, fat, heavy bullet shape. The other side is either for buffing, blending, or you could even use that for blush. And it fits perfectly into the highlight pan. Highlight is what we call foundation. And I like that all of the hairs shoot up. So as you're blending it on, I go in the direction of the hair so that I'm never disrupting my tretinoin skin or my retinaldehyde skin. I use retinaldehyde serum now probably, probably six nights a week, maybe five nights a week. Sometimes I like just an acid night. Sometimes I like one massive hydration night with an occlusive over it to lock it all in. But for the most part, I'm really consistent. And what happens when you use any type of tretinoin, retin-A, retinol, retinaldehyde is it does cause your skin to slough a little bit more. So I find this stirs up dead skin and this doesn't. So that's why I like this side, but some of you like this side. And guess what? No one's right or wrong. So that is the 3D brush. And I love that. And you'll have it forever. I bought this over a year ago. It's in beautiful condition. And a great um, brush cleanser is the Masters Brush Cleanser. You can get it on Amazon. I think this little tub is like $11.99. You'll have it for a really long time. But you just get it, you get it a little wet and you really saturate the brush. And you just, I keep kind of working it into my hand. And when I feel like the product is out, I run it under warm water. Really squeeze it well to dry. And then it, I dry it on a towel overnight. And it's usually, well, it's not always dry the next morning because these are so densely packed. But it does, it dries within 24 hours. Um, 
if you're in a real pinch though, this is the brush cleaner I use in my professional industry, Cinema Secrets. This is a little, I think two ounce spray. This is two or four, I think it's two. And it will get something cleaned right away. So for instance, let me show you. Um, let me take a brush I used last week. I've never cleaned it. I did the blue eye last week. So what you can do is you can spray a paper towel. It's nice, it has a nice vanilla smell. And boom, we're almost, we're almost getting clean here, okay? So unfortunately with white bristles, you might actually stain the brush. So I'm not always a big fan of white bristles, but there you go. Within seconds, I got the brush clean. And that is not only clean, but it's also conditioned with conditioners and sanitized. So I could use this on a person right away. Like I wouldn't have to wait. You can still see the slightest blue tinge to it. That might require actual shampoo and really sudsing it up to get it out. But um, I can tell you there is zero blue on here. So it's it's great in a pinch. I love this. Uh, but other than that, you really do want warm water to wash your brushes, okay? Next, I love this big fat bronzer blush, bronzer blush, okay? I have tried so many different brush blushes. Now, sometimes with the Makeup by Mario, I'll use this one. He has a skin enhancer. Say Sun Melt Cream Bronzer, I'll use this. Chanel, I'll use this. It's definitely smaller. But for some reason, I don't like it how, how it puts bronzer on as well as this. This, I, I've done a video before where I did half my face with this and half with this. Because this is a little bit more densely packed, it puts it on a little bit more concentrated where I feel like this gives you a real airbrush effect and it just diffuses it better. So that's why I really love this brush. It's big, I'll, I'll be honest. And I have a big forehead and it takes up half my forehead. So if you have a tiny face, you might not like this, but I just love how it just diffuses everything. So it kind of takes the blending out for you. Like it just diffuses it as you blend it. It's so easy. Um, and then I use this side very often for, for blush, okay? so. This to me, there's nothing like it, even though I'm a 25 year pro and I have so, I mean, look at all this. Look at all these. This is just one tin. I have three more over here. I have so many brushes and this is the one that I reach for with Saint. When I'm using Saint, this is the one I reach for 100% of the time. I absolutely love it. I also like to put my Bella two together. I got this idea from Harmony. It's not my own. I'm not that clever because it is such a big brush. Now I don't have to squeeze it and make it fit in the pan. You know, it just picks up two at once. I'm not telling you to buy two bronzers, but I love that. I have two bronzers and this picks it up beautifully. Okay. My next favorite brush is if you use Demi as a blush the way I have today. See how I have the lightest pink to my cheeks? So light. If you're using Demi as blush, this brush was made for Demi. Okay, this is it here before it's, this is a new one. Um, it's called the Shape Brush. This side, you could dust powder. This side is nice for the Demi. It fits in the Demi perfectly and picks that perfectly. And I just, I absolutely love this brush. This was made for Demi. This, we used to have Demi brushes on a separate tab from the regular brushes and now all the brushes are on one tab. But I'm telling you, this really soft, fluffy brush is perfect for Demi if you're gonna use Demi blush or Demi, any type of Demi bronzer, Demi sculpting you want soft because Demi is very concentrated. Okay, so that's the shape brush. The next one that I absolutely love, these, this, these are a deal breaker. And when I give you my color match, I always say, get the bright brush. The bright brush has the fluffy end. You can see how yellow that is. That's where I go around my nose and my chin where I'm more red and more purple. But the bright brush, I love it for my tear troughs. Now I'm going in for plastic surgery. 
I have no idea what my dents are gonna look like. No, no idea. Um, he's not cutting me under the eye. He's just gonna do the upper bluff. He's not doing lower, but he is gonna do a little bit of fat grafting here. Um, but I, I mean, I might have dents the rest of my life because it's just part of aging. He's not, he's not making me look 35 again. He's just making me look refreshed. So I like the bright brush to get in here where I'm dark and create that light peach, okay? And then this I like for any type of yellows to take away any type of red and pink in my face, okay? So I always tell people get the bright brush. But I also like the spot brush. See how tiny that is? Now Kara, who started the company and started Demi and um, my good friend Amanda Hill, they like to use this little teeny, teeny, tiny brush and go in and just tiny, 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 tiny almost pixelate. I like this too for certain areas and I really love it. You can see how it's dark. I love it for NV plus one because it really smudges that NV plus one under the eyes. Um, and then that gives me one more fluffy brush. So it, instead of changing the color out of the yellow, I can use this for Y01 and that's how I stay real light and bright and hydrated under my eye and I bring it up here so it lifts my corners. I love the spot brush, okay? Um, I recently got the, is this the wash brush? Let's see, of course it's not labeled. This one's not labeled, but I'm pretty sure this is the wash brush. I like this for face powder because I only like to face powder right here in my T-zone. So I don't, I don't, hold on baby, I don't want like a big, huge powder brush. I want like a tiny little strategic brush. So, th but this is give or take. I, I like this, but it's give or take. The ones that I've recommended so far, I think are must. And then um, I really love our liner brush. And then this side is the spoolie love this. This is so nice and firm and densely, densely packed. So it really puts on a great line, especially if you use the Black Friday eyeliner. It's great. Um, and then the smudge brush I used last week with the, the blue. I like the smudge. See the circumference? It's really nice if you just want to do like a really nice crease and you kind of want to circle it and it kind of blends at the same time. And then you have this flatter side that can put like a base shadow on or it could just do your your um, eyelid um, so I don't use the Saint eye brushes as much just because I have you know so many brushes from other companies from all the years that I've been a makeup artist but I do find myself using the Saint brushes more and more and I'm really impressed with those um, and then there's this little one too. Uh, this is called, what's this? They're not labeled, doggone it. Well, this one is a little bit more round and then this side's fluffy. So last week I used this in my crease with chai and I haven't used that side, but I would for right there. You could go right there and do a nice little light highlight. Okay, and then this isn't Saint, but I am crazy about this brush. I use it almost every day of my life. It's BK Beauty 204, but see, it's like densely packed. So if you wanna smudge anything or smudge a pencil, I love this brush, okay? So those are all my tops. If you have a lot of brushes, then there are certain brushes I just named that you can omit. I didn't have the the I didn't have the Saint eyeshadow brushes for you know quite a while because I didn't need them. I have so look at this. I mean this just this alone like so many brushes just in this alone, you know. So I just I didn't need brushes, but then I started to slowly incorporate the Saint brushes into my collection and well now I really like them, but um, for this, the ones that are a must, I'm going to recap the 3D brush, the bronzer blush, the bright brush. You could probably get by with just these three, but I also really love the spot brush. Remember, these are double sided, the spot brush. And then if you want to use Demi on the cheeks, the shape brush. Everything else I named is just great ancillary ones like the little eyeliner with a spoolie the smudge brush is great 
Um, for face powder, I love this little wash brush. And then whatever this one's called, it's like a blending on one side and like a fat round on the other. And I really like that. And then BK, love BK Beauty, 204, 204, okay? Also, many women will start with a little palette of four. This is called a four palette, but you outgrow it in two seconds. Now, if you want two palettes, you could do two, right? Or we make a double decker four palette called the eight palette. So maybe that, I tell women that's probably a good one to start with, the eight palette, because these are all demi right here. And those are, that's my face right there. And then, I mean, I don't even have eyeshadows. Eyeshadows are a whole other palette. So if you want to incorporate eyeshadows, you might even want to go bigger than the eight. You might want to do the next one up, which is like, I don't know, the, eight, the 18, the 12, the 24. I don't know. Trust me when I say you're going to definitely grow into it. You don't want to outgrow it. It's better to grow into it. Okay, so I love these. Um, and you really could start your whole saint journey with just... Um, a foundation, a blush, a bronzer, and then maybe a second foundation because not everyone's just one color all over. Or you could even do a highlighter and do a pretty cream highlighter. There's a lot you could start with, but you could start with just four. Um, but of course, I think the whole world needs Demi. I really do. I really think most women need these. <laughs> I love these. That's the 03, 01, Y01, GY1, and V plus 1, R5. I'll put all this into the description. So anytime you click on the title of the video, description pops down and I'll have links in there, including my Mature Makeup Masterclass and then all these colors I have today. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, we also have a great sponge um, and I don't know where it is, but if you love the Beauty Blender, the, the Saint one's more affordable and when I like dampen the beauty blend the pink beauty blender and the saint gray sponge when I dampen them and feel them no difference I don't know if she's using the same manufacturer it is an exceptional sponge but you know I love my stands out I really love my stands out sponge because it's memory foam and it's just fun it's just fun I love it this is a new one. Um, they get discolored over time because she tells me that's not from the makeup. It's because there's no preservatives in it. So over time, the air just kind of starts to deepen it in color, but they both work. And from what y'all tell me, they clean up beautifully with the master's soap. So that's good to know because I've never cleaned one. I just buy a new one every other month because I'm lazy about that. Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I like the Saint Setting Spray, but I hate how it sprays. So I'm going to transfer it to a different bottle and then hopefully we can get a nice spray out of it. So I don't really recommend the setting spray to many women. Um, and the Saint Brush Cleaner, um, I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it's fine. But I mean, this cleanses a brush in seconds and I've used it for 25 years. 20 years, I guess, 20 years. Um, and then I've used this since the 90s when I was in art college, and this works great. And it's $11.99. You have it forever because it's a soap. I don't even know how long I've had that. See, pulling away, it doesn't normally pull away like that. So that's how old this is, but it still works. Just re-wet it, still works. Okay, so that is it for this week. And I'll uh, try to think of something clever. Should we do a Valentine's look? Maybe a Valentine's look. I'll do a Valentine's look next week. That's what I'll do. I'll do a Valentine's look, which means I'm really shooting it this week for, for next week. But anyway, that was a request. They wanted to know the best Satan brushes, my very favorite, the ones you can get by on. And I hope that that helped. And reach out in comments, or you can always message me over on Instagram if you have any specifics or a great t or a great um, idea for a video you want because um, I do listen very carefully to my audience. I'm here for you after all. Okay, bye for now.